Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students so in the last class we um, uh, we were looking into the concepts of um, a very important formula in uh, vector calculus which is a seret frenets uh, formula which uh, actually connects the derivative of uh, tangent normal and binormal uh, with um, tangent normal binormal curvature and torsion so uh, we derived that formula and we were also working out few examples um, today we will continue with that formula uh, and uh, we will uh, look into uh, three different planes where those uh, three uh, vectors lie actually because uh, we know that um, or we learned in the previous class uh, that um, the tangent vector the normal and the binormal they are they form a right handed um, uh, sort of like screw system so each one of them are perpendicular to one another so that means um, the one each one of them will lie in one plane uh, in, in in their respective planes uh, perpendicular to the other two planes uh, in which the other two vectors lie and uh, we will um, write down the equations for those planes and then we'll try to work out few examples so let me start uh, we had the seret frenet formula as uh, so we had the formula as uh, as a formula uh, as a dtds i'm not writing any cap so just to save some time kappa n and uh, dbds is equals to minus of tau n and uh, dnds is equals to minus of kappa t plus tau b where t b and n are the tangent vector unit tangent vector unit binormal and unit principal normal all right so basically what we have is um, what we have is here is first of all the tangent line right so we have unit tangent vector or the tangent line and so next we have is the principal normal or unit principal normal and the third thing that we have is the binormal right so these are the three uh, vectors that are connected with this equation now uh, they now that they form a, a sort of like a trihedral system or um, right handed screw system uh, with so these three vect vectors must be lying in three different planes mutually perpendicular to one another so those three planes have also their names and uh, the names are like uh, first one is so the three uh, three mutually perpendicular mutually perpendicular planes in which the above vectors lie vectors lie or we can write determine are uh, osculating planes osculating plane second one is normal plane and third one is rectifying plane all right so basically the normal plane will contain the normal vector perpendicular to tangent line and binormal the uh, osculating plane basically uh, the osculating plane uh, will contain um, uh, the osculating plane will contain your uh, um, your your binormal basically and uh, uh, it will be perpendicular to t and uh, n and the rectifying recting, rectifying plane will contain the tangent sorry here there is a c missing so rectifying plane will contain the tangent vector and it will will be perpendicular to both b and n all right so uh, so um, what we have is uh, what we have is 
so if we want to draw a figure, so the figure would be slightly. So what? Let me write in words just to make the things clear. So what do we mean by oscillating plane? So oscillating plane. So the first definition is the oscillating plane. The oscillating plane to a curve to a curve at a point P at a point P is the plane containing the tangent and the principal normal. at p so basically it will contain the normal uh, principal normal and the tangent at the point p and uh, the equation of the oscillating plane so the equation and the equation of the oscillating plane so basically it will contain both tangent and normal and uh, so osculating plane uh, is actually perpendicular to the binormal yes so the equation of the osculating plane is uh, so it's not actually containing but uh, it's containing two vectors uh, t and uh, n and uh, it's actually perpendicular to the binormal so osculating plane is perpendicular to binormal however it will contain the tangent and uh, the principal normal so now the equation of the osculating plane is r minus small r dot b equals to 0 where our capital r where capital r is the position vector of any point on the plane and small r small r is the position vector is the position vector of the specified point p of the curve so r is the position vector of any point on that uh, osculating plane and a small r is basically um, the a small r is basically the position vector of a point p where we are calculating that uh, osculating plane all right so um, uh, this osculating plane will be perpendicular to the binormal and it will contain um, t and n so if it is containing t and n that means um, it is obviously perpendicular to b because uh, t n and b are perpendicular to one another so if the vector is containing let's say if you have something like a three dimensional uh, um, the, uh, geometry and uh, if uh, if we have let's say this this and this if this is my t this is my n and this is my b so if a vector is containing both uh, t and n sorry t and n then in that case it is obviously perpendicular to b and if a vector is containing n and b then it will be perpendicular to t and uh, if a vector is containing b and t then it will be perpendicular to n so now we will define the normal plane so the second definition is the normal plane the normal plane so the normal plane is the plane through p perpendicular to the tangent line so that means it will contain b and n all right so perpendicular to the tangent line uh, hence containing hence containing normal and binormal and 
at the point P. So, and the equation, the equation of the normal plane is capital R. So, capital R is any arbitrary point on that uh, normal plane minus a small r. So, small r is the position vector of the point P um, where we are calculating the normal plane dot product with since it is perpendicular to the tangent we will write t equals to 0. So, this is the required equation of the normal plane and uh, third one is rectifying plane. So, the rectifying plane rectifying plane is the plane through P perpendicular to the normal normal and uh, it contains what are the lines it contains or what are the vectors it contains. So, it will contain T and n uh, b. So, it will contain t and b and the equation would be the equation is and the equation is capital R minus a small r dot product with n equals to 0. So, where capital R is any arbitrary point on the rectifying plane and a small r is the position vector of the point p and since it is uh, perpendicular to the perpendicular to the normal uh, we have the dot product equals to 0. So, going backwards this one is the equation of the osculating plane, this one is the equation of the normal plane and this one is the equation of the uh, rectifying plane. So, if you are given an equation of a curve in terms of r is equals to f t and uh, if you are supposed to calculate um, any one of these planes uh, let us say at a point t is equals to a then in that case uh, we have to calculate uh, tangent binormal and normal and based on that um, of course uh, we can be able to uh, give uh, any one of these plane equations of any one of these planes. So, um, we will work out uh, one or two examples um, where we calculate these planes and uh, of course you can be able to express these equations in terms of the Cartesian coordinate. Uh, so, t can be written as um, so, this can be written as capital X, capital Y, capital Z minus R is that uh, point X, Y, Z um, and if you have a T equals to A given then in that case you can be able to calculate this small x, y, z and then you take dot product with T in terms of the Cartesian coordinate system and that will give you uh, the required uh, equation in the Cartesian form. So, we will see how we can do that alright. So, let me uh, look into my lecture note to get some examples all right so we have an example here so i will start with the same example that we considered uh, yesterday so find the equation find the equation of osculating plane normal plane and uh, the third one was rectifying plane rectifying plane at the point t equals to 1 for the curve x equals to 2 t, y equals to t square and z equals to 1 by 3 t cube. So, here we are given uh, the equation in uh, as uh, x equals to y equals to and z equals to some function of t and uh, we have to calculate osculating plane, normal plane and the rectifying plane. And uh, of course, uh, for t equals to 1 the point p is given. So, at the point p which is uh, which can be evaluated at t equals to 1 um, we have to calculate the equations of all of these uh, planes. So, let us see how we can do that. 
So, first of all uh, we can write the equation of the curve. The equation of the curve can be equation of the curve can be written as R t or R t equals to F t is equals to X t i y t j and z t k. So, this is our 2 t i t square j 1 by 3 t cube k or I can write it as a triplet. All right. So, um, for the tangent um, um, we need d at dt in a way because uh, if we have d at dt then that is basically the tangent vector and then you divide it with its uh, magnitude and then we will get the unit tangent vector. So, we first calculate d at dt. So, how do we calculate? We differentiate both sides. I can also write r dot uh, with respect to t. So, this will be 2, 2 t square and then t square. And from here, uh, I can evaluate r dot at t equals to 1. So, this is basically 2, 2 and 1. And uh, of course, the point p would be at t equals to 1 r at t equals to 1 and that will be the point p. Next, uh, we can calculate uh, r double dot. So, now that we are calculating everything, let us calculate r double dot. So, this is 0, 2 and 2 t. So, r double dot at t equals to 1 would be 0, 2, 2 and uh, I can also calculate uh, r triple dot. So, I can calculate, let me write it here in small. So, r triple dot is um, 0, 0, 2. So, r triple dot at t equals to 1 is 0, 0 and 2. So, these are the three values for r dot, r double dot and r triple dot at t equals to 1. And uh, the point p is the point p at t equals to 1 is p at uh, x t equals to 1, y at t equals to 1 and z at t equals to 1. So, this is ultimately p at, so when x is 1, so when x is 1, so this is 1, 1, 1 by 3. So, we have 2, 1, 1 by 3. So, this is my point p for t equals to 1. So, now I will calculate. So, first I am being asked to calculate the, we are being asked to calculate the equation of the osculating plane. So, we have all the ingredients. Now, we, are, we start calculating the equation of the osculating plane. So, the equation of the osculating plane is if we go back, if we go back is R minus capital R dot B. So, B is actually our uh, binormal, unit binormal and uh, rectifying plane do is dot n and uh, normal plane is dot t. So, first of all, we can be able to calculate our tangent. So, the required unit tangent vector is the required unit tangent vector t cap is dr dt divided by r dot mod. Um, so, dr dt or r dot is basically uh, at t equals to 1 is 2 2 1. So, at t equals to 1 it is uh, at t uh, the, the required unit tangent vector at t equals to 1 or at p we can write at p. So, this is 2 2 1 and then divided by 4 plus 4 plus 1. So, this is ultimately 1 by 3 2 2 1. So, that is our required unit tangent vector. So, from here the required binormal. So, the required uh, unit binormal vector at p um, 
is mm, so don't write is just equals to is equals to uh, a vector perpendicular to t so i can write 1 by 3 and of course i have to consider unit vector so this will be uh, 1 minus 2 and 2 and the required unit normal or unit principal normal at p is n equals to b cross t. So, we can calculate this cross product and this will ultimately yield 1 by 3 minus 2 1 2. So, we have been able to calculate the tangent vector, unit tangent vector, unit binormal and unit principal normal. So, now we have all the ingredients to write the equation of the oscillating plane. So, let us do that. So, the first the equation of osculating plane is so we have capital r minus a small r don't forget the small r is actually a point p dot uh, osculating plane for the osculating plane we need to have here uh, we need to have here our uh, where is that equation so we need to have here our b uh, or binormal actually. So, the binormal where is that so the binormal is 1 by 3 1 minus 2 2 equals to 0. So, from here I can write um, 1 by 3 uh, will go to that side and it will be 0 and this is capital R. So, I can write capital R as uh, uh, x, y and z. So, I choose the any point on that plane on the oscillating plane as capital X, capital Y and capital Z minus a small r is basically the position vector. So, I can write 2, 1 and 1 by 3 and then this one is dot product with 1 minus 2, 2 equals to 0. So, this one will be x minus 2, y minus 1, z minus. So, this one will be x minus 2, uh, let me write it in a bit clear way. So, this will be what do we have x minus 2. So, x minus 2, y minus 1 and z minus 1 by 3 dot product with so 1 by 3 dot product with 1 uh, minus 2 and 2. So, 1 minus 2 and 2 equals to 0. So, this will be x minus 2 minus 2 times y minus 1 plus 2 times z minus 1 by 3 equals to 0. So, this is uh, the required equation of the uh, of the osculating plane. If you want then you can keep all these x y z on one side and z on, on, on the constant on the other side. So, we can simplify this equation a little bit it will be x minus 2 y plus 2 z equals to I might make a mistake while calculating. So, this will be plus 2 minus 2 and then uh, plus 2 by 3. So, this will be ultimately 2 by 3. I do not know from here to here if it is correct or not, but uh, that will be the you can leave it here or you can leave it here. So, this is the required equation of your osculating plane in terms of x y z. You can also use a small x now, a small y, a small z um, and uh, so this is capital Z, capital Z, capital Z. So, if you want you can use this small x y z now and it is totally safe to do that. So, that is how we give the equation of the osculating plane. Now, let us uh, move, uh, move on to our next task which is uh, calculating the equation of what was that uh, equation of the normal plane. So, for the normal plane, so the equation of the normal plane, equation of the normal plane capital R is again a point on the normal plane minus a small r is the position vector of the point and for the normal plane we need for the normal plane we need dot t. So, dot t. So, what is our t? t is 1 by 3 
2 2 1. So, t is dot t is equals to 0. So, here we have uh, uh, x y z minus a small r is what is our small r 2 1 3 uh, 2 1 1 by 3. So, 2 1 1 by 3 dot product with t. So, what is our t 1 by 3 2 2 1. So, 1 by 3 2 2 1. Now, this 3 will get uh, uh, absorbed here and then this will be x minus 2 times 2 plus y minus 1 times 2 plus z minus 1 by 3 z minus 1 by 3 times 1 equals to 0. And uh, I can try to collect the terms at one place and uh, uh, so this will reduce to uh, I am not sure if I will end up doing the calculation correctly. So, 2 x 2 y plus z equals to 4 2 1 by 3. So, 6 plus 1 by 3. So, this will be uh, 19 by 3. So, you can check from here to here that is uh, not an easy ta uh, is a difficult task to do. So, this is the required equation of our normal plane all right and now you can use the small x y z as well. And uh, the third task that is given to us is um, the rectifying plane, the plane that is perpendicular to t I guess. So, the rectifying plane, no it is perpendicular to n, uh, the rectifying plane is perpendicular to n, rectifying plane is capital R minus a small r dot product with n right. So, capital R is again x, y and z minus 2, 1, 1 by 3 and dot product with n. So, n is so 2, 1, 3 and n is 1 by 3 minus 2, 1, 2. So, 1 by 3 minus 2, 1 and 2. So, 3 will get reabsorbed and uh, here we will have x minus 2 times minus 2. And then we have uh, y minus 2 times 1, so that we do not have to write it and then 2 times z minus 1 by 3 equals to 0. So, if we multiply both sides by minus and then we do some simplification, um, you can be able to obtain the equation of the recti rectifying plane. So, rectifying plane if we I just have to check once rectifying plane is dot n, yes. So, you see for this given curve uh, which is also called as twisted, twisted cube, uh, we were able to obtain the equation of the osculating plane which is basically osculating plane is um, basically uh, a plane containing tangent and principal normal and it is perpendicular to the binormal. And uh, then we calculated the normal plane for that given curve, which is basically a plane perpendicular to the tangent and then we calculated the rectifying plane which is a plane containing t and b and perpendicular to n. So, we just had to calculate these three vectors. So, if we know the tangent vector, we can easily calculate binormal or normal because they are mutually perpendicular to one another and then the equation of the osculating plane will be capital R minus small r dot uh, t and then uh, just substitute the value of t and that will give us the required um, osculating plane. Similarly, the normal plane can be given by uh, can be given by t um, this equation. So, we just substituted the value of p and the tangent and then that is the equation and similarly, the equation of the rectifying plane can be given by this way. You can also calculate um, you can also calculate um, the length of the curve measured uh, from t uh, up to any point. So, the length of the curve. Uh, so, this was this this example was up to here. We can also measure the length of the curve. Um, from t equals to 0 to any point. So, the length of the curve for the same problem, the length of the curve from t equals to 0 to a uh, certain point, let us say t to a point uh, to any certain point t is given by capital L equals to integral from 0 to t r dot d t. 
So we'll, we'll try to work out an example based on this in our next class. So in today's class, we were able to determine uh, the oscillating plane, normal plane and the rectifying plane of a given curve. And uh, we'll stop here for today. And then in the next class, we will continue with uh, calculating the length of a given curve from a certain point to a certain point. And um, I look forward to you in your next class. Thank you.